Can I shoot you? Can I shoot you? What? This is one of our fine. This guy's a good guy. I call him a tri he's a trimaker guy. Look at him, he's sweating. You want some water? I got some water, man. No, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, I got this. That feels good, huh? Yeah. At least he can breathe. I guess Stuart can't breathe. Can't uh, breathe. Course, no, I can't breathe. Poor uh, Stuart. Crack 11. Alright. Have a good one, man. You too. Good mom. See, he had Okay. I gotta tell you, there is a sense of accomplishment of actually getting through this shit, you know. It's, it feels, you actually, you know, it's, anybody can drive an air-conditioned bus and, and do it. But to actually be able to drive your route with one of these buses and actually do it, I gotta tell you, there is a sense of accomplishment. Because you're kind of defeating the elements. And you know, what? people have been in a really good mood. Passages have been great. The traffic has been light, and and surprisingly, you know, when the lights are out at Bethany and Cornell, uh, the 158th and Cornell, but everybody was actually following the uh, four-way stop. Nobody was jumping ahead in line. It's funny how like adversity brings people together. In your everyday life, and eh, nobody cares. Everybody, it's all about me. But you get some kind of a crazy situation. And all of a sudden, people start cooperating. I wonder why that is. I wonder what it is about that that creates. Passengers are just been. Well, they're always nice on this route anyway. That's true. Look, look at how dark it's getting. Let's see. Okay, let's one, take one last temperature reading and call it a night. Hopefully tomorrow isn't going to be so bad. We're still over 100 at, at 9 o'clock in here. No, no, we're not over. We're under 100. 98. Yeah, I can tell the difference. There's a big difference between 98 and 112. <laughs> over and out. Hello, garage. Thank you. Made it.